Oh, absolutely, Whitney. And they are continuing to file in down here on the Jacksonville Riverfront, and they're waiting for some fireworks out here on the water behind me. And as you can see, the bridge is Kentucky blue. Now, everyone here is so excited for the bowl game, but today the players on the field got a, a lesson that this is more than just a game. The Kentucky Wildcats came to Jacksonville on a mission to win a bowl game, but for some players, this trip had a deeper purpose, giving back. I was pumped, you know, especially, you know, especially dealing with children. I love, personally, as myself, I love children. Players who will be enemies on Saturday join forces today at Wolfson Children's Hospital to meet kids fighting a much tougher battle. They're going into the new year, and some of these kids will be spending New Year's in the hospital, so, you know, you just want to put a, a smile on a kid's face. With the help of teddy bears and autographs, their faces lit up in some ways that their parents hadn't seen in months. It was really nice. She was She's not a very talkative person, but I could tell she was happy. While a simple visit may have made these kids day, it meant just as much to the players. Nothing's guaranteed. I mean, the next breath you take's not guaranteed, so live every moment like it's your last. The state of Kentucky has given so much to me and, and, and this university and this team, you know, it's, it's nice to give back to other people, and especially children. On a happier note, a few of the kids that the cats were scheduled to visit today got discharged a little bit early so they could be home for New Year's Eve. Maybe they can catch the cats in action on the field tomorrow. Live in Jacksonville, Florida, Holden Krewicki, WHAS 11 News.